Jeanette, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. And you're from which state? From North Carolina. The Tar Heel State of North Carolina. All right. Now, Jeanette, if, if you could send one message to President Obama and members of Congress regarding the situation in Syria, what would that message be? Well, when Syria started the revolution, I don't think any of us proposed that it would take this long. And they did not think that we would, they would need U.S. help. And they figured Russia or, or Japan would help. And since they are not helping, um, I believe with all my heart that we need to step up to the plate and help our neighbors. And how does it make you feel when you see President Obama and Congress sitting on the sideline? It breaks my heart because all I see is men, women, and children being martyrs for their own country. I see a land that had so much history and so much union of people devoted that were natural born citizens there. I just see them being like nomads in their own land, being thrown out of their own own places just to find homage and peace and um, the whole land is destructed. It's now can you, can you also comment about the solidarity of people from all sorts of backgrounds coming together for one cause? I think it's amazing because um, the universal language here is love and to see these men, women and children just mutilated, decapitated and ambushed, it's such, he is such a tyrant. I, I don't even want to say Bashar's name. That's why we demonstrated today in front of the White House. We, we are voices, we are united, we want to be heard. We want to recruit NATO and any, any help that we can to put an end to this tyranny and have the democracy that they so deserve. Now, Jeanette, you're not Muslim, are you? No, I'm not. Why, why are you here? Why are you helping? Because I'm a Christian, and Christ we all stand united, and this is a land that's even not built on biblical principles. Absolutely. Jeanette, uh, I, I want to end on one other note. When you hear these staggering numbers, astounding that, that over 100,000 people displaced as refugees in their own country. Over 75,000 people tortured, detained, don't know where they are, and over 12,000 people killed. How does that make you feel? There are no words. There's no words just to see the people, humans, families, in piles, burnt, disheveled, dismembered doctors trying to help whomever they can and one, helping one life at a time. It's, it's such an atrocity. It just breaks, breaks my heart. President Obama, members of Congress, here you have Jeanette from the Tar Heel State of North Carolina telling you loud and clear, people across the world are standing in solidarity. Doesn't matter if you're Christian, Muslim, Jew, or otherwise, we must stand up for the people of Syria and we must bring freedom and justice. Thank you so much, Jeanette. Amen. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Free Syria! Free Syria! Yeah.